Now, the Saudi foreign minister has been visiting Ukraine's President Zelensky at his home in Kyiv. The two countries have signed a memorandum of understanding and Riyadh is sending $400 million in humanitarian aid to the war-torn country. To talk more about that, we're joined by Simon Henderson. He's the director of the Gulf and Energy Policy Programme at the Washington Institute for Near East Policy. Great to have you uh, with us, Simon. And, and Saudi Arabia um, has had a somewhat ambiguous position on this war, hasn't it? Do you think that this visit suggests that Riyadh is now taking a side? Uh, Riyadh wants to give the impression it's taking sides. Uh, the interesting thing, which we don't know, is uh, how they're communicating this to President Putin in Moscow, who, uh, apart from anything else, is uh, with Saudi Arabia, uh, leaders, uh, uh, a leader of OPEC Plus, uh, the uh, petroleum export uh, cartel. Uh, and uh, for initially, for the first few months um, the, of the Ukraine war, uh, Saudi Arabia and Russia were very much on the same page. Uh, Saudi Arabia is now trying to suggest uh, that it's on a different page. Uh, we would like to hope, probably, that it has moved to a different page, uh, but uh, it's not um, a, It's not clear yet that this has been achieved. And in the photographs you're showing now, there's that dreadful G20 um, summit meeting immediately after the death of Jamal Khashoggi, uh, when uh, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman uh, is all pals with President Putin when everybody else in the summit uh, wanted to keep him very much at a distance. So would you say that the, the Saudis felt that they owed uh, President Putin um, a favour, as it were? I'm, I think they still owe him a favour, and so they're delicately uh, trying to manoeuvre so that they remain in good contact with Moscow, while at the same time um, uh, getting some of the pressure uh, from the West uh, off their backs, uh, because the West, the United States and Europe, uh, has rather felt uh, that Saudi Arabia had chosen the wrong side in the Ukraine war. And more generally speaking, is Saudi Arabia one of the big winners from this conflict uh, in that it's prompted soaring uh, demand uh, from Europe for energy and has made its own exports more valuable? Well, to put it crudely, uh, yes, I think so. Um, although, you know, it, the conflict, how long the conflict goes on and what's the state of the world economy in another year, um, it remains to be seen, but high oil prices are good for Saudi Arabia because Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman has ambitious uh, economic uh, plans for Saudi infrastructure. Uh, what about the other um, Gulf Arab states? Um, do you think they'll be taking a side in the conflict? Well, they're of less consequence to this, uh, and I think you've already seen that the United Arab Emirates uh, is trying to shift its position slightly as well uh, to make it seem that it's not having um, a confrontation uh, with the West. But uh, it, the interesting thing about this is that uh, both Saudi Arabia and the UAE um, want uh, contacts with the United States, while at the same time criticizing the United States uh, for not being sufficiently interested in the Middle East and not giving them enough support. Simon Henderson, thank you very much indeed.